So what we need to do first is go over to our WordPress dashboard. And then after that, we're going to go over to where it says posts, and then we're going to click on categories. And this right here is where we're going to create our categories that are going to show up in our menu. So my website is a photography website, as you can see by all the categories here. And so what you're going to want to do is come up with a list of probably four or five different main categories that you think will fit your website. So for example, I have camera views, galleries, videos, courses, gear, and books. But once you guys figure that out, you're going to come back over here to where it says categories and you're going to go under here where it says name. And then you're going to add all those categories here. And so you're going to add your first category right here. And then you're just going to scroll down and click on add new category. So for example, if I wanted to add the category camera stands, all I would do is type that in and then I would scroll down here, click on add new category. And then you would see that pop up right here. And then maybe after that you have different camera stands you want to talk about, say pocket stands or portable stands. And then you want them to be under this main category here. All you would do is create another category, type it in here, but you would go down here to where it says parent category. And then you would find this main camera stands category and select that. And then you go down here and click on add new category. And now this pocket stands category will actually be a sub or parent category to this main camera stands category. And then you would just keep adding these depending on how many sub or parent categories you want for each main category. And just like you see here for this camera views, you see under here the subcategories are DSLR cameras, film cameras, point and shoot cameras, smartphone cameras. You would just keep adding them depending on how many categories and subcategories you want to have. And then once you've added all those different categories that you want, then we're going to go over to appearance and then we're going to actually create the menu with those categories. So we're just going to click on menus. Then we're going to go up here and click on create a new menu. You guys can name the menu whatever you want. You can call it menu two or you can just call it, I'm going to call it three. It doesn't matter. It's only going to be seen by you and then click on create menu. And then after that, um, go down here to where it says categories. And if you click on view all, you'll see all those categories that you created. So all you have to do after that is select the categories and the subcategories that you want. And then you click on add to menu. And so right now, all these categories are actually their main categories. So what we need to do, since these right here are subcategories, all we need to do is take that and move it over here a little bit to right to the right under there. And now that's a sub item. And then you just do that for each one like that. And now those are all subcategories or sub items for this main category right here. And then you just keep doing that. And in the end, this is what it will look like when you're done. Just like this. You guys can just, you guys can rearrange these any way you want by just picking them up and then dragging them. If say you want the videos to be before the galleries here, you could just bring this up and then also bring the subcategory or the sub item up with it too. And then this is the important part is make sure under where it says display location, you um, check this main menu box right here or else it won't show up. And then after you do that and have everything where you want it to do, all you do is click on save menu. And then when you go back to your site, you will have all your categories up here like this. And that's how you add menu tabs to your WordPress website.
Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.